I had a dream last night that I want to share with you, uh, but first I'll ex tell you what I had been asking the Lord about. Um, I had asked him, as I know many of you probably have as well, uh, Lord, what is coming? Uh, what is the time frame of uh, so much of what you've promised, the breakthrough and manifestation of, of your promises? Um, you know, with all of the situations in the world, on the world scene, Lord, what, what's next? What's coming? Um, so it was with that backdrop and the assurance that the Lord has friends uh, and he speaks to his friends. Uh, in fact, Jesus said in, uh, this is the book of John 15, verses 14 and 15. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. So again, he says, Jesus said, uh, the slave doesn't know what the master is doing, but the friend does. I have called you friends. And of course, the Old Testament records that God used to speak to Moses face to face, and he called him his friend. Abraham was referred to as the friend of God. So that is what we aspire to and uh, we, we desire. And, and the way we become a friend of God uh, is to walk closely with him and do as he asks us to do, to obey him. So back to the dream or to the dream. Um, I, I dreamt that I was with a large group of people. Um, they seemed to be family, family members, uh, siblings and, and family, uh, children and so forth. And it, it was a celebratory type of, of occasion. And just before we were about to break up, uh, there was somebody at the door. And uh, when the door was opened, a messenger came in carrying a huge, uh, like a bouquet, a balloon uh, bouquet, just huge. I mean, it literally filled the room. Um, and there were all kinds of, not only balloons, uh, but gifts and, and candy and uh, all kinds of things included in this. And, and the colors of the bouquet, I felt the Lord was, was uh, pinpointing the timing, uh, the time frame. Uh, it was like um, uh, harvest colors, orange and yellows and, and uh, uh, almost Halloween, but not a Halloween theme. Uh, but, but as though it were uh, meant for uh, the, the period of uh, around Halloween, the, the end of October. So when I was contemplating that this morning uh, upon uh, awakening, um, I felt the Lord say, October surprise. October surprise. So I don't know what's coming in October. Uh, it will be a surprise. Uh, I believe it's a good surprise, not a bad one. Uh, now, there may be difficulties in the world. Um, there may be things happening uh, on the world stage. Uh, but as we ha have heard from the Lord already, we are not to fear what, what others fear or be in dread of what might be happening. But it is the Lord, God Almighty, who is to be our fear. And He shall be our dread. We are to walk in the fear of God. So I believe the Lord is saying to his children, those that are walking intimately and closely with him, his friends, that he has a surprise for us, a good surprise, a gift, an October surprise for his children. So receive it by faith. Uh, We'll know uh, certainly in, in a couple of months, but, but I do believe this is uh, uh, a true word from the Lord. Um, and so watch for it uh, and just start thanking him already. Start thanking him for the good things because it is written that every good and perfect gift comes from above, from our Father of lights in whom there is no shadow of turning. Amen, amen.